What's up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. 2022 Panini Certified Football 8-Box Break Picatines number 2. And again, guys, all-card ship. This is the second half of the case. Here we go. So what happens, Rex, if you're, like, traveling? Do you not have, like, Dad on the phone? And Rex, how, how are we supposed to get a hold of you? What if you have no service? Alright, here we go, guys. on that crypto Logan let me ask you this Logan when it was like crazy high did you cash out or did you just save it because you thought it was going to be much better Tyreek Hill Traylon Burks, Darius. Le <laughs> I have no life. I'm never on the road. Actually, that's probably true, though, Rex. Right? You legit live down the street from your work. You probably have Wi-Fi at home. You have Wi-Fi at work. I guess it's not the worst thing. To three ninety nine, Pierre Strong Jr. Rex knows how to manage that money. Jordan Brooks. It's just so crazy though, because 10 gigabytes can just go by it like that if you have no Wi Fi though. <laughs> to 50, Jordan Brooks. Isaiah Spiller. We have Connor Hayward. We have a little Mac Jones to 149. Ooh, is this a case hit? Radical rookies, Garrett Wilson. I feel like that's probably like a new case hit, maybe. Adam Coverman for his Jets, his four and two Jets. How about that, right? Hassan Haskins. Nice. Well, yeah, I mean, I'm kind of the same way. I don't mean, I don't really take vacations either. I might take a day off here and there. But I never really, like, am out for, like, a full week or anything like that. Like, where I feel like most people do. But, uh... Usually, the only time I'm ever gone for, like, multiple days would be around mine and my wife's birthday time. So, like, December. Um, we'll celebrate our birthdays because we're Christmas, Christmas Eve, or Christmas Day, and then Christmas, the uh, day after Christmas, 25th, 26th, and then our anniversary for our wedding is in December. So, that's the only time I ever really take, like, an actual, like, vacation vacation. So, we'll be in Mexico for that week. So, I won't be here the Thursday. I think it's, like, the 22nd, and then... I think Friday the 23rd I won't be here and then I'm gone up until like Tuesday or Wednesday Eric Stokes to 40 40 or 40 and nice Desmond Ritter that's to 75 hoping for a better patch out of 75 but hey still two colors Stephon Diggsies to 
for one ninety nine. Uh, we're gonna be in uh, Zihuatanejo. Extapa Zihuatanejo. All right, here we go. Yeah, I don't know where the yellow's from. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> it's more like a Kansas City Chiefs patch or something. Zewa. I know, right? It's like a Chiefs Commander slash. What college did he go to? Maybe, could it be a college uniform? I don't think it says it right. I don't know about that, actually. You're right. Falcons never have any yellow, right? Nice, I haven't been to Mexico City. I always want to visit the FA. Hopefully soon. Once it's in the area with no yell, yeah. <laughs> I have no idea then. Amos Sauce Gardner. Nice one there to 149. Great player. Jets. Sorry about that. That's going to Copperman. What a break so far. Rashad White, man, I need some coffee. Justin Fields at 25. At a 99, it's Carson Strong. Wandale Robinson. Yeah, Rex, you just got to plan one and just do it, Rex. You know, obviously, like you said, holiday time is probably tough. You probably want to spend time with family anyways, but you just need to just set one up and just do it. You know, don't say, oh, I kind of want to do this. Like, no, just literally figure out where you and the fam or just yourself want to go and then book the flight, book the hotel. And there you go. All right. And then, uh, Van Jefferson. Well, you know what's funny, Z-Money? It, it's like, I don't know why. I guess, I mean, I get it. You don't want to use your rookie photo shoot for a defensive player like Jordan Davis. But, I mean, Panini, you're, you're going to see Carson Strong everything this year with the Eagles because he was part of that rookie photo shoot. So, <laughs> even though he didn't even last, like, he's, he's going to be an Eagle for this whole product run, which sucks because, you know, he wasn't even there for, like, more than three weeks. John Mechie. We got Alvin Kamara. We got a Josh Paschal. Kyle Hamilton. Cam Akers. How about Cam Akers? I think he might get traded too, right? I don't know. I think the trade deadline is going to be wild this year. And obviously the first big splash was yesterday. How do we feel about that trade though, guys? You know, I'm just messing with one of my cousins here that works. But, you know, I, I, think, it's a, I think it's a solid trade in the sense that, like, if, if uh, CMC stays healthy, you know, he's, he's going to produce in that offense. But I, I just I just feel like it was a lot of a lot of pieces, a lot of draft picks for a guy that potentially, you know, hasn't been relatively healthy, you know, 
for the last few years, unfortunately. And I mean, even then, I mean, I don't know if he's going to solve all their problems, right? I mean, at the end of the day, you know, you still have Garoppolo back there. Which is crazy to think that I heard that obviously they were able to pull off that trade because they had about like five third round picks. So they gave up like two of them. But think about it. Next year for the 49ers, if they don't do anything this year, they don't have a first. They don't have a second. They don't have a third. And then I don't even think they have a fourth. And then a fifth and whatever it is for the following year. Like, remember, they gave up three first rounders to trade up for Trey Lance. So it's like, this is really telling us they're trying to win now, right? Win this year and then we'll worry about what happens the year after that. But yeah, I mean, it's it's a risky trade, but if it works out, I mean, it's a genius trade, right? I just, I seen the funniest, I just seen the funniest like meme of NFL memes that they made. It was like a picture of Skip Bayless. He's like drinking like a, a you know, a, what is it, diet, Dr. Pepper, whatever they like, her, him and Shannon. And it was like, it was supposed to be like Garoppolo, like so excited to, to uh, hit Christian McCaffrey out of the backfield on a little, uh, little dump off and he takes it for 55 yards. <laughs> I don't know, man. Amonra, St. Brown. That's what I'm saying. That's the only two thirds they have. Christian Watson, two color patch. It's just, I don't know. It's, I don't know. We'll see how it plays out then, right? I mean, but he is definitely another huge piece to that 49ers offense, though. Now you got him, you got Debo, you got Kittle. Yeah, Kittle hasn't actually been that healthy either, right, as the, as the last couple of years. I mean, he just takes a beating, though. So, I mean, I guess it's kind of it's going to happen, I guess. But Zamir White. Jahan Dotson. Yeah, I think the Panthers now at this point were just like blowing it up. Roy Williams. This guy, man. This guy ruined potential in the Eagles Super Bowl year. With the Roy Williams horse collar on T.O. to break his leg in 2004. Gabriel. T.O. was healthy that year, man. For the Super Bowl. He still got 100 plus yards. Adam Thielen. Brian Robinson Jr. Chris Cooley. I'm telling you, guys, a lot of commanders. <laughs> uh, that is number to 50. Yes, they did, right? <laughs> Man, that relationship started off so good, right? They were just... They were just... Uh, they were just best friends and all. I just honestly think McNabb hated that T.O. just came right into Philly and was loved and worshipped. And, you know, I think he was just a little jealous of that. But, man, they, I wish they worked out better. All right, guys, here we go. Next one. Just trying to take my life away. All right, source popping, guys. Some kids over here every day. Every, every, like, three days, they come and play the stacker game. I don't know if you guys can hear them yelling. We have, like, hobby boxes, packs in there, so... Playing the stacker game for a dollar. They're always going wild. 
And then we got some kids here with their dad buying some boxes. Yeah, those shit packs sold out last night, right? Yeah. Because they're still on the website. Like, if you scroll down to baseball for some reason, they're still there. Someone was asking about them. Oh, well, yeah, it should say sold out anyways. Oh, it doesn't say sold out, though. It's weird. Oh, maybe he made, Nick made new ones. What's that? He oh, didn't. I didn't. Oh. 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 <laughs> They've actually won a couple times, though, actually. <laughs> There was a couple times where uh, they won like the grand prize. It was like a hundred and twenty dollar box. You know, if you put like ten bucks in in there and you win a hundred twenty dollar box, it's not that bad, right? Saquon Barkley. <laughs> yeah, it probably would be Matthew. Jalen Tolbert. Well, that's that's pretty good. <laughs> that's what I was saying. I was like, I don't think anybody realized that the minor prizes actually had an auto in there. Which, I don't think they're the biggest autos. But, I mean, if you feel like you're not going to win the major, you might as well just take the minor. DJ Moore to the Ravens for a second. Elijah Moore to the Bears for a fifth. Gasecki to the Packers for a sixth. I heard Gasecki was on the trade block. I think they're tired of seeing his gritty. Sauce Garner. Great break for the Jets. I think a fifth scene seems a little too low, right, Adam? Maybe, maybe a third. Third, I feel like. I don't know if you can get a second back for him though. Johnson. Sam Williams. And we have actually have a number to seventy-five. Sky Moore. Armadillo, or yeah. What's going on, man? Alec Pierce, nice one to 25. He's actually come alive as of the last few weeks, too. So you think he's worth a little bit more? Like a second? You, I mean, ideally you want a second back, right, at least. Ooh, CJ2K. How about Chris Johnson? 5 of 25. Well, he was a second rounder, right? He was a second rounder last year? Or two years? Yeah, it was last year, right? Was it last year? Yeah. But yeah, I think, I think, I think Z Money is a little right, though. I think, well, that's the one thing. I mean, they said they weren't going to trade him. So, I mean, he has no leverage at all at this point, right? It's like either you're going to play for us or you don't play. Um, but, um, yeah, I mean, I, I think sometimes when it's like the team wants to just get rid of them and the player wants to be gone, I, I think, yes, it's it's a little bit easier to just be like, oh, well, you know what? He don't even want to play for you. You don't want him. I'll give you a fifth, you know? And that's, yeah, exactly. I mean, Adam's a Jets fan. I'm sure there is, like, no motivation, though, right? I mean, he's a great player. It's like, sorry, dude. Like, you, you want to be part of the culture? You want to get out of this, dude? Like, what's wrong with you? Like, and I'm sure that's probably why the Jets want to get him on board, right? It's like, dude, don't you want to be part of this? Like, we're 4-2, and two, you know? And, yeah, he's, he's not... he's He doesn't have a huge contract yet, right? I mean, he's still calling his rookie year deal. Probably still has another two, three years left. Probably sounds like a four-year deal, I assume, as a rookie.
Cam Akers. Romeo Dobbs. What happened to, what happened to this guy? Is this guy injured? I feel like he is predicted to be pretty good. Had like one good, good week, I remember. Dalton Schultz. Or is it just the Packers in general? You got Zeke to 199. Mac Daddy Jones. John Manchi. <laughs> it's getting wild out there, guys. Nice two color patch, Heinz Ward. That's to 15. Jaquan Brisker. Taekwon Thornton. Nice four color patch. What kind of autograph is that? Good lord. I could do this. I could legit copy this autograph. It's a 149. Breeze. And. Jermaine Johnson. I get it. You know, you're signing a gazillion stickers your rookie year. I, I mean, everybody does it, but <laughs> got to be a little better than that. Even a, like for me, a JC would be fine for my name, you know. Just, just do a, uh, I don't know. I guess that is a TT, but no. <laughs> no, don't do it that way. At least with like my J, if I do it in cursive, it looks like, you know. All right, here we go. My boy Miles Sanders, man, looking great this year. He really wants that contract. Uh, the 249 Brady. Joe Burrow to 50. And Sam Howell. Out of 15, rookie roll call. A little chipping there in that corner, though. But, nice hit right there. Yeah, I don't think he, he, he... He'll make some good money, but I don't... I don't expect him to want to leave Philly, right? I mean, if there's any other team he'd probably go to, is like... I mean... He went to uh, Penn State, right? So, I mean, I don't know. Maybe he's a Steelers fan? But... I think he would love to stay in Philly. Um, and I don't think he'd be worth a lot, especially nowadays with running backs. I mean, you, it's kind of hard to vouch for them. Even the best ones out there, right? Like Henry and those guys have finally like gotten injured years later after their contract. So, I mean, I think it's just too risky nowadays. So, yeah, three-year, $22 million deal. I think that'd be nice. I wouldn't mind paying that. It's like seven, eight million a year. I don't really know what what was the what was the biggest uh, running back contract lately, actually. 
Now to think of it. Ice Cooper Cup to 30. I feel like they're not getting paid more than like $10 million a year now, right? Like Zeke's contract, for instance, that has not worked out into the Cowboys' favor at all. Kyler Gordon. Don't get me wrong, he did have a good couple future, a uh, good couple years there though, on his rookie deal. Did McCaffrey get twenty five million? I heard he's on the books next year for like twelve million. Really? Or oh, sorry, did he get twenty million? Sorry. Yeah, that's a lot. I thought he was. I thought his. I, I was looking at the salary cap next year. I think he's getting paid like twelve million. So maybe that's just the salary cap, and then on, on top of whatever else he gets as a bonus, probably. Pierre Strong, four color patch. Yeah, that's that's a lot of money, man. Kyle Phillips. Four years, 64. So what's that, like 16 million a year? So that, that makes sense. And probably 12 million in the cap probably gets like a $4 million, you know, like bonus or every, every June or something. Yeah, that, that Z contract is horrible, dude, honestly. But don't get me wrong, at the time he earned it, I mean, it's not like he was horrible. It was great, but it just has not worked out that bad. And honestly, if anything, a contract like that has helped other teams be like, sorry, man. We know that you're talking about Zeke's contract, but it has not worked out. So, sorry. I think that's kind of helped everybody else. Clyde Edwards Alaire for the Chiefs. Sean Robinson. To 249. That's a good question for you, Brody. What do you think? He's, he's a very versatile player. I think he's out for the year though, right? I mean, or he's on IR. Nice Malik Willis. It's uh it's gonna be interesting. Cause what do you pay a guy like that if you wanna keep him, right? Kenneth Walker, that's very nice. 50 of 50. Oh, he'll be back in two to four weeks? I thought he was an IR. Oh, maybe I guess that makes sense. It was like six weeks, you have to be out. Ty Chandler. I guess he has been out for like two, three weeks already. Jamison Williams. The one thing they were, they were talking about it yesterday is the Saints situation is horrible, man. Obviously, the Saints traded up to get Eagles pick, so they don't have a first round of this year. Eagles got that one. Wow, Cordell, uh, Cordell Stewart. How about that? Steelers. They're like 30, 40 million over the cap. I don't know, man. Saints fans. I don't know how it's going to work out. <laughs> Jake Ferguson to 149. Davis Mills. And Skylar Thompson. On this easy money, let's just say the Eagles, you know, make it, win a playoff game, maybe two. 
they don't win the Super Bowl. They whatever, right? Let's just say they win a playoff game or two. That was my expectation. They make the playoffs again, win a playoff game, get that, get that, uh, get that experience, you know, under your belt, which is big helpful. But um, I'll just say, right? They're just losing the playoffs at some point, so they're gonna have like a late twenties, and then you get potentially like a top five, top seven with the Saints. I don't even know if the, I think the Eagles will like trade that pick and just get another future first rounder for the next year. Honestly, I mean, do they really need? I mean, well, I guess we'll see, right? I guess we're agency and stuff like that, but I can see them trading out of that pick just because, you know, unless it's somebody they really want at that time. Same thing, Z-Money. That, that's exactly what my goal was. It was just win a playoff game. I, I, it could be in the wild card game. It could be a divisional, whatever. You know, just get that experience and that playoff win. BJ, how are you, buddy? Because my thing is that, like, let's just say it's a top five pick. I mean, Jalen is their guy, right? They, they don't need a quarterback now. So there will be a lot of teams eager to trade up to the top five and willing to give up multiple picks or players. So it's like they might not even need that pick. There's a lot of talent coming out of the NFL this upcoming season. That's right, Rex. I was all over yesterday, buddy. All right, Isaiah Spiller, last box. Had a 149 there. Chris Olave, nice uh, three-color patch there to 25. Carson Strong. And nice, the Kobe Dean. They haven't even used this guy yet. That's how good their linebackers have been. He'll get his time, though. That's for the Eagles, Zachary. Nice Zappy. Car number uno of 50, Bailey Zappy. Drake London. Kenny Pickett. Kenneth Walker. For the Seahawks. Elijah Moore to 99. And Thornton, four color patch. Probably the best autograph I've seen in this product today. <laughs> and nice Bailey Zap. There's at least like 15 kids in here and like three of them just circling around with their bikes in the parking lot. We're getting taken over right now, guys. Pray for us. Alrighty, folks, and there you go. Another certified eight box break in the books. Quick little uh, recap there. I'm going to quickly just go through the cards. Patriots had a pretty good break on this side as well. Nice Kenneth Walker there. A lot of big jumbo patches. Sam Halligan. Uh, Commanders continuing to hit. Nice Heinz Ward right there. CJ2K. Sauce. Jets, actually. Sorry. Jets actually had a really good break early on, too. 
Try the sauce there again. And then I assume, little Ritter, this was probably a case hit. I mean, I don't, I didn't take a look, but I only seen one of these, and it's the only one out of the two for a break. So, radical rookies, I assume. A nice one there for Adam and the Jets. And of course, all the numbered cards here. That'll be top loaded by the shipping team. So I appreciate you guys. Number two in the books. If you guys want some more certified, uh, certified numbers three and four at seven and twelve left. So appreciate it, guys. Jaspiescasebreaks.com.